All right, episode seven, Tool Academy, baby. For people uninitiated, Tool Academy is a show about douchebag boyfriends it made in 2009, where their girlfriend signed them up for a show called Mr. Awesome to be like the most alpha guy in America. But really, it's a show called Tool Academy that they're on to be reformed boyfriends because most of them have cheated or are bad boyfriends, et cetera, et cetera. Very funny show. That's pretty much it. Let's do it. Tonight, as the couples get used to living under one roof, they've got guests. <gasps> Welcome to Parents Weekend. Oh, Whoa. hell yeah. Insane. And they'll face their toughest. It's just like yet. college. You hurt my daughter, I'll break your neck. Sean Perfect. Started. You won't believe. Whoa, close up of the dogs. What do you think we're, we're gonna do today, guys? Who knows what they're gonna throw at us? Ashley and Josh, please report to therapy. So we're like, all right, you know, report why, why to why therapy. To therapy? <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> Cry counter. Door and my mother, Doc, my Aunt Tracy, and Ashley's father, Anthony, were sitting on her. His aunt? I love you. When I first saw my father, I can't even tell you the feelings that were running through my body. I was hysterical. That was tears of overwhelmed happiness. <laughs> Why is it so emotional? Have they not seen their family in like years? So as you know, Ashley enrolled Josh here in the academy in the hopes of saving their relationship. And since family dynamics play such a huge role in relationships, we thought it was really important to have you involved in the counselling sessions. This week's lesson is in family values. We're going to look at how your relationships fit into a family structure. So I'd like you to talk about perhaps how you both got on with each other's families. So, Anthony, what do you think Josh perhaps still needs to work on? How can I say it? Selfish His bowling ways. sucks. You have to learn how to tr treat a woman. Plus, if you hurt my daughter, I'll break your neck, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. Gotta throw that in as the dad. You always gotta throw that one in. Plus, I will kill him. I will kill him if he even hurts her feelings a little bit. My dad does that all the time, I swear. My sisters have the nicest husband and boyfriend, and my dad, for no reason, after like we'll have like a very nice dinner, will turn to me and be like, Gunner, by the way, if any of them ever cross them, you know what we're doing. You know what we're fucking doing. I'm like, Dad, whoa, he just paid for our dinner. <laughs> What are you talking about, man? Relax. Let's not make these hypothetical threats already and clue me in on them. Take it easy. I think he's going to propose soon, okay? What are you thinking, Josh? It's just like a dad going thing. Going through this uh, tool academy, it's really changed my situation now on how to realize what's right and what's wrong and how to treat Ashley a lot better. Okay, I hope so. Josh needs a lot of guidance. And not convinced. I'm hoping this academy does make a better man out of Josh. I want Josh to treat my daughter a lot better because she deserves it. Ashley, how are you getting on with Josh's mom? Oh, got some drama here. In the past, Josh's mother and his side of the family wouldn't talk to mine. And for the longest time, I had so many feelings of anger towards her because I was pissed. Why? I have said many times to Josh that I don't think you like me. May I ask why? That's quite hard to hear, isn't it? I have always thought of her yes. like a daughter. Maybe. And I hate my daughter. I love you. Do you hear that, Ashley? And I'm She's sorry. Like, yes. <laughs> Hey. Mm. Crocodile tears? I yeah, I think she doesn't even believe it. She's like, mm, I've heard this one before. She's trying to play like a good guy. Cry count immediately up. Why do you feel that way, Ashley? Because we don't talk. Like, we went from talking all the time to not talking at all. You were so wish with your friends, and I never wanted to bother you. So, Ashley, you look fairly upset. And, I feel um, like the bad guy. Like, I'm doing something wrong. No, no, no. Ashley, I don't want to lose Josh. And I love you like a daughter. We'd love to have a little of that quality time with the two of you again. I don't really know what to make of that at all. I love you like a daughter that I never talk to and never see. I don't want to lose my son. I can lose you, though. <laughs> it made me see from a different angle that I was wrong. How does that feel, Josh? You're sitting in the middle of your two ladies. Yeah, I know. <laughs> does um, it feel better now that they're having this talk? I'm actually glad that you brought the family here because it's good that we can get it off our chest and we can straighten this issue yeah. out. There's still obviously lots of things to learn, but I hope you see now that keeping hurt feelings bottled up only makes things worse. If you keep talking to each other, I think you'll find you'll all want the same things. That'll never work. No. Talking to each other? Nah, you're out of your mind. Fuck that. That'll never work. Okay, look at us. 
She's not qualified. All right, someone's got to have a crazy relative, and my money is on her oh. for sure. They all look like different versions of her. My sister, Elmira, my best friend, Liana, and Sean's mom. The orange-haired one just looks like her wearing a wig. <laughs> wow, this is insane. Right when I walked into therapy, I felt this dark gloom. Yeah, and Sean's like, oh God, no, I caught with her sister and her mom. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, this is gonna suck. Her sister don't get along with my mother and Ida's sister and Ida's best friend don't like me very much. Amir, where's my hug? No, you don't give me a hug? Not really. Okay. I've never been a fan of Sean. I didn't even want to touch him. I think Sean has put Ida through way too much. Fight, fight, fight! Did you want to tell them a little bit about what it's been like for you? So they've put me through a lot here at the tour academy, Mom. Sean had an incredibly big challenge because he started in the academy with someone else. <laughs> oh my lord. Wow. That's my boy. Way. God, I hate him. <laughs> I'm totally freaked Elmira, out at this point Elmira? because I know it's going to be an absolute mess. He started in the academy with someone else. Oh my lord. Wow. Oh my lord. Oh my yeah. lord. <laughs> my older sister unfortunately had to go through the toughest times of my relationship with Sean and she hates Sean because of the crap he's put me through. Emira, you obviously seem terribly distressed and upset. <laughs> I'm there when he's not there, you know. I see what happens to her. I see when she's sitting there like a zombie, unable to do anything. She doesn't eat. She doesn't take care of herself. She'll go into severe depression. Do you think this relationship is savable? I don't think so. I don't like him. <laughs> I just don't. Sneak that in there. He's just kind of gross. Penelope, how does it feel for you? People attacking your baby Defend boy. Defend your boy. Well, I think, uh, they're not realizing that Ida has faults too. Uh, <laughs> okay, you know, huh? What, uh, would I want my mom to do that? No, that's not. <laughs> you want your mom to talk you up. Mom, defend me. Don't start throwing shit their way too. That's not gonna help the situation, I don't think. You know, I don't like her actually. She has created a lot of turmoil herself. Your son showed up with another girlfriend. Did you miss the therapist just told you that two seconds ago that he showed up with another girlfriend before? I'm not sure Ida's the one putting Sean through anything. The only ups and downs we've ever had is because of the fact that I never got any support from the pain that he put me through. And you never even came to me to ask me how I'm doing or be like my son did something wrong. All you did say was that I probably deserved it. You have to understand you are not my daughter. Oh, big change from the last one. You know, I feel like the mom probably liked the other girlfriend is my guess. I feel like she met the other girlfriend and liked her and now hates this girl. And you have issues. <laughs> it hurt me so much to see a woman that could be potentially my mother-in-law not be able to relate to how much pain I've gone through caused by her son. I just see us not getting better and progressing in any way. And that's so frustrating because I know the only option I have is to walk away. True, Sean, say something. He is just sitting there so quiet. Did you see his body language earlier too? He's got like his legs like in front of him. Like, fuck, shit. Uh, 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 stop fighting. Uh, guys, chill. Doesn't even say a word. Not gonna defend me. Say something, Sean. Ida, if you're going to be with Sean, I think you have to know that my mom is a package deal. Oh, it's Sean's sister, okay. I love my mother to death. She's the best woman that has ever been in my life. She's been through so much, and I feel like it's my duty to take care of her. I do take care of um, my girls here, you know? Um, I take care of my mom, and I take care of Ida very well. I pride myself in that being the man of the house. I do pay every single bill and I do pay every single thing, so. He only talks about his money, money, money. No. First of all, you have this obsession with money and showing you have money. No. I'm not making an excuse here, but if you knew our lifestyle and how we grew up, we've come a very long way, the That's whole right. family, so. Well, where's your dad? He walked out of my family when I was in eighth grade. 
When my mom was going through her divorce... Seems um, like we could draw the line for your dad and maybe the way you act with your girlfriends. If I was a therapist, I think that would be the time I'd be like, let's talk about that. Let's talk about your dad. That actually makes a lot of sense. Let's talk about that. But they seem to have brushed over that really fast. When my mom was going through her divorce, um, they were homeless for a while. And he was the one that stayed with her. He's the one that took care of you. And this yeah. relates... So when you say you're homeless, where did you live? In our car. In the car? Yes. And that's why money is such a big deal for me, because I will never, ever, ever not have a lot of money to be able to do everything I need to do ever again. I actually just wanted to say, like, Amir, like, I know that every time that I've heard ID, you've been there for her, and thank you for that, and I'm also sorry for that. It's <laughs> thank you, sorry. Again, and I really do love her. And I, I, I mean, I see her as my wife, you know, for like the rest of my life. He has been fighting. For she me. is biting her tongue. Oh, wait, no, she's talking. And I just want you to know that third time is either to, Never mind. to strike out. So we're just going to see which one is going to turn out being. No, she's biting her tongue, dude. She's got so much more to say, but they're definitely like, okay, all right, let's put a bow on it. This is a happy wrap up. Okay, they're going to be great together. She's like, he cheated on her last week. <laughs> Does no one else understand this? He had a secret girlfriend for a year. There's no way. Well done. You know, you made great use of this time. But it is obvious to me that this family relationship is going to take much more work if it's ever going to be repaired. My mom, Cindy, my sister, Lonnie, and Jenna's mom and dad are standing there. I've never met Jenna's mom and dad. Oh. So I'm kind of freaking out because, hello, they get to meet me at the Tool Academy for the first time ever. Show them your tool badges. I love Jenna's, that. I'm very protective of Jenna. And she doesn't always make the right decision when it comes to relationships, so just don't push the wrong buttons, <laughs> and uh, it'll, all, it'll all work out. No way. <laughs> They've not met you before. Yeah, this is the first time, so forever. it's definitely a pleasure. So, Jenna, do you want to explain to everybody why you haven't introduced Matsu? Um, I mean, Ryan's a great guy. He just had rough edges. I've been nervous about Ryan meeting my parents. I mean, my dad's a deacon. You know, my parents are really religious, so I never know what's going to happen. I don't know Deacon. Why does that sound like a race of vampires? What? Deacon? Never heard of that before. Church leader? Oh, Deacon <laughs> D's nuts. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> so what, what are your thoughts? It's known that Patty and I, you know, that we were Christians. You know, we love Jesus Christ as our Savior. We believe in the Bible, and we've done our best in our life to, to train our kids that way. Okay. And Jenna has been challenging at times. So you must have been fairly nervous about the fact that she's actually now going to be dating someone who doesn't have a very good track record. Um, I think just to fill you guys in. Yeah, I think they're about. not going to like Matsu Flex if they know he's a stripper. <laughs> maybe they don't know yet, but I don't think that's going to mesh very well. And that's going to be a tough conversation. I hope maybe they already know that. She's actually now going to be dating someone who doesn't have a very good track record. Wait till they find out about the gay uh, porn. Just that happens later. Ryan and I have never had sex, and we had an honesty therapy, and it came out. Ryan. Was no way. Else. Okay, so there's there's literally no shot this relationship lasts. If the gay porn allegations are true, which we think they are, of him and Sean after the show getting it on, whatever they produce together, these Christian parents are not going to allow this relationship to last. It's true. I saw it last night. Get a hold of yourself. Please wait for us to finish the series. I figured we would research it after. And by research it, I literally just mean see just the story behind it, not look at it. Okay. On stream, obviously we'll do that on a private Patreon stream, but we will look into it later. But I want to finish the show first before we watch them finish on each other. Not, Sometimes we didn't it just have sex. slips out. Just so you know what she's talking about. <clears throat> wow, that was a weird icebreaker now, wasn't it? And fairness to Ryan, too. Ryan has always been able to uh, attract the opposite sex. He does it very well. <laughs> oh, nice. Wish my mom spoke about me like that. What are your thoughts? We've just met him. Yeah, I mean, as a, as a dad, it's uh, shocking to, to hear. And uh, I want to just take a minute and say we do believe that a sexual union is is precious and that you know god intended it to be between one man and one woman and oh, wait. oh oh god oh no 
<laughs> oh, wait till they find out. I wish we had recordings of them finding out after the fact. This is not going to work. At this point, Matsu is probably biting his tongue like, shit, I already talked to Sean. We have a booking date. All I'm thinking is, wow, they look pissed. And I have a lot of explaining to do to Jenna's parents. I'm really glad that you guys came. One of the biggest parts of a relationship A lot of explaining to do. And you've obviously got a lot more to learn about one another, but at least now the ice is broken. Coming up. Okay, now yeah. it's your turn yeah, to see what it's like to be a parent. Oh, God, he's pooping. And later. When I see you go home, I'm gonna have a nice big ring. Wait until I hunt you. This episode heats the fuck up, apparently. Now it's your turn to see what it's like to be a parent. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, meet your children. Give them little pigs, nice. Give them the eggs, yeah, why not? For the next 24 hours, each couple will be caring for a baby pig. In the chest in front of you, you will find everything you need to take care of a newborn. You are responsible for cleaning up after your piglet, changing the diapers, feeding it, and your piglet must be attended to at all times. <laughs> I gotta take care of this baby now and feed it and clean up after its poop and burp it. Dude, that's a lot of responsibility. Yeah, cute challenge. But cute challenge. First, sure, why not? You must catch them. Oh. You have to eat the pig after 24 hours. You have to cook the pig live after 24 hours and eat it. Can you do it? Only one couple gets through. This is a lesson about sacrifice. Once each couple has their new baby, you're gonna have to give it a bath, put it in a... Yeah, I think I did a project like this in health class before. Pig. Sounds easy enough. Yeah. 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 Ask your parents about that. Gentlemen, please step over here into the pen. You killed a pig? Would no, no, we did it with uh, babies. Gentlemen, Why is his shirt always off? Your babies. Go! Okay. okay, oh, they're catching pigs. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Once the guys catch the pig, the women have to okay, come they, in I feel and as pigs. a couple, we have to bathe the pig. I think it's uh, things out. I didn't Ew, realize this what freaking bone was going to pop out. I'm like, damn, this guy is stacked. Oh, I don't like oh, that, dude. Yeah. What should I do with this? Oh, I don't like that at all. What was the hell? Come on, come on, come on. It's bad to you, baby. Was that a little piggy oh, we can't show that on YouTube, can we? Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to talk. I don't. I don't want to think about it. That was gross, man. Ah, oh, can you imagine if if human penises looked like that? <laughs> the tricks we could do. Holy shit! The helicopter would go crazy. Oh my god. Sean and I definitely got gone. the craziest pig. It was just squealing, squeaking all over the place. Okay, okay. Hey, what is this show? What is this show? Get this show. Okay, it's okay. Why is there all calm? <laughs> You have no choice, mister. Oh, you think you just turned it on me? You're so pretty! You're such a cute Why never legible Sean and Ida's talks. baby is very cranky. Legible when he talks, whatever. Sean is doing a good job and trying very hard to calm the piggy. See? I'm your daddy now. You're gonna love me. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut the fuck Ad up. Adplex is being so sweet with their baby, while Jenna is being very impatient. She'll need to learn to relax if she wants to be a good It's a pig. I think no matter how you talk to it, it's not going to change how it's acting. I mean, not really. It's a, it's a pig. It's not a baby. There we go. Talk now. Josh and Ashley are working very well together. Teamwork is vital when it comes to being good parents. We got a little jersey right here, baby. All right. Nice job. We got our pig dress first. Well, cheers to the new parents. Cheers to the yeah, new parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. cheers. Babe, I'm going to make it a plate. Make sure you peel the corn of the cob off. Okay. So it's his corn. I don't want him to hurt his teeth. Right now. Oh my God, look at him sleep. So yeah, they're getting so these cute. little pigs all attached to these owners. They're going to imprint on them probably. And then after 24 hours, they're just like, all right, good luck in the wilderness, little piggies. <laughs> You've been coddled for 24 hours. Now you get to experience survival mode. Is that pig you're eating? No, it's pork. There we go. Don't feed it its own kind, Sean. I'm always very skeptic towards Sean, but you know, maybe he really has changed. So we're hoping, we're just trying to keep faith and we're just trying to keep positive. So I just come a long way too, huh, mom? Oh yeah. She's actually really good for me, you know? And I think she wants to make it work, so. Yeah. Sean is really trying hard to show his family how much Ida means to him. It's nice to hear him talk openly about his feelings. 
So what would you say, Brian, was the, the lowest point during, during the therapy sessions? Um, probably the uh, fidelity therapy session. Nice, nice. You know, we found out Get that I was having sex with another girl. And, you know, that was... We found out that I was having sex with another girl. This is just how therapy goes. We were just mowing it over a little bit. It's okay. You know, we found out that I, I was having out. sex with another girl. I had no idea I was having sex with another girl. Everyone was shocked. I was so confused. I was like, what? Me? That was a, uh, a big wake up call for me to see that. I think for my parents, it was a lot all at once. Just meeting him, you know, and having to explain that he was unfaithful. So through the whole barbecue, my parents drilled the out of Ryan, which was so comfortable. I thought they were Christians. What the hell are you doing to him? I'll be honest, I don't have my, my finger exactly on what I want to do. But he's gonna put his fingers somewhere in a gay porn. <laughs> That'll make money. I didn't know there was a problem, really. And I'm glad we got to open up, and it was worth it. Josh and Ashley are making great progress in reconnecting with their families. Stronger family ties will help them improve their relationship. No I'm glad way. That we solved everything. <laughs> she says no the most way. obvious, obvious shit. Having family ties is a better relationship. <sighs> Say something of substance, please. Anything. Having just met you, I'd love to hear more about pre-Tool Academy, oh, Ryan. Yeah. Um, I have the name the Matsu Flex. WK. You know, so I'll walk into a room and I'm like, yeah, I got this big energy bubble. I just want people to grab me because I'm going to electrify them, you know? I didn't understand why Ryan was Matsu Flex. I, I don't know why. It you don't get like that? I think it's pretty obvious. Like it's going to help change America in a more positive way. I think one of the things I picked They're up not on today it. is that Ryan was so focused on Ryan. Why are you guys calling him Ryan? He was such a tool. Matsu Flex is a revolution. It's going to change America. And he's right. And he's so right. I don't understand how they're not understanding. Keep drinking. Maybe it'll click for you. She's definitely seeing demons right now. It makes sense to me. The first time I heard Matsuflex, I got it. I hope you guys feel a little bit closer as a family after today's events. Unfortunately, it is time now to say our goodbyes. To the pigs. Couples, these new children of yours are your responsibility for the next 24 hours. Okay? Good night. Bye. Let me say bye. I think that if Ida really works at it and Sean works at it, it's going to work. And your sister True. says be more. Jenna's happiness is very important to me, so who she ends up with is going to be critical. This to one's that. not going to work. I want more for my daughter than that. Come here. All right. Okay. Thanks. This is not just that I know. He's a better person, and I'm very proud of him. Nice. Coming up. I cannot. And will okay, not. No, I don't want to see it. That's what I thought. Fights are coming. Fights are coming. Oh my wow. God. That's so I am so cute. glad they're not going to poop in our bed. Thank Big you. Babies. When I got back to the house and saw that we actually had baby carriages for these pigs, then that kind of blew my mind. Mm, I love you. I love you already. It literally struck me as a very wrong thing to do. I just why? couldn't get the concept of why you would treat a pig like a baby human being. This pig is a pig. Oh. It's an animal, okay? It does not have a soul like a human being. <laughs> wow. Uh, maybe expected this from Jenna's parents, but Sean, this is a weird way he's going. Okay. All right. No soul. No soul for the piggies. Okay. Let's see where this goes. If we had a child, I would be the best father in the world, but I cannot and will not think of this pig as my child. It's just a representation. But That's some, all it is. Why are you acting like that? I grew up on a ranch, poor as raising pigs. Grew I up on a ranch. Up a sow's to pull a bunch of pigs out so that they would survive. This is my childhood. I think you'd be more sweet about it. I have delivered so many baby pigs. I hate them. They have no soul. Pig has brought up painful memories for Sean, but rather than deal with them maturely, he is breaking down. This is a parenting exercise and Sean needs to gain control of his emotions. I know what it's bringing back to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what it's bringing back to me is a childhood. That's what it brings up. What is going on? Hold on, hold on. I gotta think. How is this gonna relate to his childhood? Okay, so he had to look over the pigs in the farm while his dad was cheating on his mom, and that brings up bad memories? Or is he saying that he was metaphorically the baby pig on the farm, and his dad didn't care about him? It's gotta go one of two ways. Everything that I am now has strived to get away from catching greased pigs. Oh, okay. Baby. I need to see a psychologist. 
You're talking about pushing one of my buttons. At least he knows what he should do. At least, he, at least he's self-aware. My mind is fucked up. Yeah, I'm going crazy. Yeah, I need to go talk to somebody. I'm losing it. Bring up my childhood. I've, I've been trying my whole life to forget about my childhood. I've been trying to forget about pigs for years. They always keep cutely scurrying back into my life. So you're gonna have a piece of bacon or not? We need chicken, dude. Oh, All right. Pigs everywhere. No, bacon sets them off too. Had a... Right hide in front it. of the pigs, you savages. Yeah, hide it. Huh? Go away. Hide it. Oh, I thought it was kind of weird that Josh and Ashley, they were taking everything so seriously, and they're very good parents, but how dare you eat bacon in the sight of your child pig? That's where I draw the line. Bacon, 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 bacon! Little does he know that they're eating his freaking ancestors. Oh, isn't this cute? Ancestors? Maybe cousins. Morning, well, I want to congratulate you guys on completing this task and for keeping your children alive for this 24-hour <laughs> period. <laughs> So it is going to be time to say goodbye. Don't check Sean's pig. It might not be. So I'm going to need you to gather up your piggies' belongings and follow me outside, OK? Wait, are they really just giving them away? <laughs> Come on down here, guys. You want to say your final goodbyes? Yeah. Ashley, you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. I got something in oh, my God. OK. <laughs> I'm good. And That's right behind me, we got a 50-foot guillotine. Can we bring that out real fast? OK, now let's get a little dark. We'll continue. Bye, baby. In a truck? Where are they going? Nice work. I'll see you tonight at elimination. Where are they going? I think that we should say, because we're the most truthful couple, listen, they've only been together for seven months. Already. I know, listen to me, and listen. Were, and they're full of He changes hair, he means business to tonight. Down to three people is to call people out. And I think that Jenna and Machi Flex are completely fake. They're not in a relationship and they're trying to win that $100,000 as a hustle. Sorry. We're the only real couple with real problems, Ida. We are. And you know what? We've got through those problems, and that's what makes us valid. We're a valid, true couple. I'll be damned if I'll leave this academy before both those <laughs> And then there were three. This could be the last meal for one of us, dude. The Seriously. Last supper. Last supper. Pretty tense. How is it that you guys have been, been together for seven months and you never met her parents, dude? Nice. Because we were kind of just getting into a relationship and there was some crap that needed to be taken care of. But like with my parents, they're a little bit more conservative and so I- But did you, did you introduce the first three guys you had sex with your parents? Did you introduce the first guy you actually had sex with to your parents? Damn. Sean instigating. But you know what? Get that 100K, bro. Also, you got to film that thing with Matsuflex later. So, you know, you're going to have to tear this apart one way or another. Why must you tear people down? I'm not, Focus I'm, on not, you I'm, not tearing, I'm not tearing anybody down. I'm just By simply, poking fun at people, you like, are, Sean. If it looks like a duck, it's old. Know, it's not okay, fair. I don't care if both you hate me. I'm going to be real. Because if I go home and both couples stay that might not be completely real, then you guys, bro. That's all I have to say. Just yeah. stop. What are you doing? How are like, you like, and this is not being th th This is not being immature right here. This is being real with it, dude. Come on. You know what? Sean maybe just had a psycho moment with the little baby pig saying he had no soul and kind of went a little crazy. But as of right now, I'm on his side. I think this is what you got to do. You got to instigate a little bit. You got to figure out who's real here, you know? Could turn from this to psycho in a second. But as of right now, not a bad play from Sean. I'm with it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm you with know, it. Maybe, You're telling me don't side with him. I'm with it for a come second. Here. Come here. Just come Someone's got to do it. There's only oh, three left. 100 grand on the line. They don't even have a relationship. She's never even met her parents until yesterday. Yeah, that's, she was that's, never that's... Even told. Okay, now I've switched sides. Okay, I very quickly am on your side now. All right, he's getting a little aggressive. Some might say very aggressive. I think he's a little out of line. I want him to tell the truth right now, and I want to see her cry. No, what the hell is that all about? I'm not going to go down with a real relationship when both you guys are faking your relationship through this academy. F you guys, bro. Where are you going? I want to knock somebody in the face. Are we getting changed? He's going to hold a After pig hostage. Dinner, elimination was coming up, so we had to go upstairs and get ready. And as we were getting ready, you know, Sean starts popping his mouth again. Somebody Weird for saying. Months, don't you think that you'd like to introduce him to your parents? I mean, seven months is a pretty long Sean, time. Sean, you that's have breaking, your own relationship. That's, that's You're not breaking, part no, of no, ours. No, 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 that's just breaking a half year. I just, I just think that maybe you guys really aren't in a relationship for seven months. Sean was just being Sean. His defense mechanism is to call everyone else out and create this massive drama. And we're all just tired of it. He's ridiculous. Hold on, hold on, Ashley. What, what, what are you, what are you laughing about over there? She who doesn't like to be called out. Do you really want me to make you cry right now? Okay, here's the deal. <laughs> what is going on? Do you really want to make me make you cry? 
<laughs> oh God, what's coming next? I don't think Josh wants to marry you because if he loved you, he wouldn't have called you a 300 pounder and wouldn't have said that I'd rather have sex with blow up doll than you. I've never actually- is, Wait, is he crying? Hold on, wait. I feel like Sean is crying right now. <laughs> Do you want me to make you cry while I'm crying? Ah! Yeah, that was fucked up. They mended that though, Sean. You're bringing up past issues. I'm just saying, a man who loves his girlfriend doesn't say that about his girlfriend. A man who doesn't love his girlfriend doesn't cheat on his yeah, girlfriend dude. and come here with another <laughs> Unwinnable, unwinnable past he has to throw shit at anybody else in the house is crazy. You can't have that confidence. No man would speak about his woman like that while I cheated on mine behind her back with a relationship that lasted way too long. You can't do it. You can't throw shit, man. I just don't want to lose you. Oh my God. I'm Sean's girlfriend of six years. Oh, what? Six when years. When I see you go home, hey. I'm gonna have a nice big grin. Oh, 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 laugh, Pib Squeak. Why don't you walk through life without a opinion, bro? Why don't you do something besides be the biggest falling in America, bro? I'm gonna go okay. with this is pointless because you obviously don't respect him. I now don't respect you. I've never and respected you because you're full of and so the You're you. full of what? Um, actually, I'm full of um, energy. Uh, I'm full uh, of truth. <laughs> I actually have a relationship. Full Just of energy. Nice, man. Good comeback. Both of you guys, because dude, once once you graduate this academy, or once you get kicked out of this academy, then we're gonna see who the f stays together. And you know what? The only people that have been together for six years is right here, and we're the only ones that are actually like going to get married back. in the future. So f you guys. Okay. Why you give us? Just, just no. so just so America knows, we do have a better relationship and a more. <laughs> We're the only ones that are gonna stay together. And she's like, uh, I was gonna, I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make it, sure. And we're the only ones that are actually gonna get married in the future. So f you guys. Okay. Why you okay, yelling? Off. Just, just, so, just so America knows, we do have a better relationship <laughs> and a more Sorry, more I keep pausing, dude. Matsu flex of all people to say, why are you yelling? Like all calm, as, as if he didn't lose his shit last week. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Both of them are psycho extreme people. Hey, man, what, why are you yelling? Take it easy. Your name's Matsu Flex. <laughs> and we're the only ones that are actually going to get married in the future. So f you guys. Okay. Why are you okay, yelling? So J just, no, so, no. just so America knows, we do have a better relationship and a more- So America knows. Sean has a lot of opinions and he wants to stir up the pot. All that says to me is Sean is insecure. Dude, Matsu try to look deeper calm. within Sean that Sean has not got out the therapy sessions. What are you hiding, man? What's wrong? What, what, are you, are you, what okay? are you talking about? I think that you're <laughs> very lonely and there's something deeper within you that you don't know okay, what's really Okay, Mr. Out. Therapist, I'm sure you went to psychological school and I'm sure that you have a degree, don't you? And bro, what's wrong, man? Bro, don't piss me off and get me that livid. What are you going to do? Dude, he's bro? really doing like a... stupid. I didn't go to psychological school, bro. Too bad I'm fucking doofus like you, idiot. What are you going to do, bro? If you fight me, you're off the show. Keep no, no, no in my face. Do Keep it, bro. Hit me right here, bro. Dude, do it. Please. Do it. I am putting my chin out. Come on, he's doing listen, it. Come listen, on. Listen. Exactly. Let me, Who's let me fucking bitch now. Are you kidding me? Dude, I'm not going to take a free shot, you little bitch. Exactly. Can you believe they have sex after this? God, it's so interesting. Dude, I'm not going to take a free shot, you little bitch. Exactly. Dude, dude then step up to me. I just. What's up my, now, bro? Just... Step up to me. Step up to me. What's up now? Huh? What's up now? Dude, dude, wait, wait, wait. He's gonna prove how big of a man I am by beating your ass. Huh? Ah, that's what I thought. This is a little taste of what's gonna happen later, man. Where are the pigs? Where are the pigs? Wow, pretty intense there, Sean. I've never seen a male Karen in full rage effect. That was crazy. And I only say that because he actually looks like one. The camera's down to Matsu and I head to head, and I get cut. Then somebody, dude. You're fucking him. That's who you're fucking. We know who you're fucking, buddy. Y'all are fucking each other. It was like, today was really bad. It was like a circus. All Sean has been doing is poking the wrong in people's relationships. My boyfriend apparently doesn't have an opinion, and I don't think it's fair that someone else should be beating at someone else's relationship. So why do you think he was doing it? He has opinions about different people's relationships and how the relationships weren't as real as ours. Because I've never had sex with my boyfriend makes me a fake person. Because I've never taken my boyfriend home to meet my dad makes me a fake person. Those were not my words, those, those were Sean's. But Talk you speak about... for him and you're sitting here and Whoa, you're- Whoa, okay, now Jenna's getting a little line here. I didn't say any of those words and she doesn't speak for him. She's her own person. Calm down, Jenna. Let's come to the last three. If he wants to take the stance and fight for us, I'm gonna let him for once. What does my relationship have anything to do with you? Why do because you care? Because I don't think your relationship is entirely real. Okay, okay, well now she okay, does so speak for- 
<laughs> she should have just owned that off the get-go. If she's going to be like, those aren't my words. No, those aren't my words. Those are my words. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I think you're bullshitting too. I think you're bullshitting too. You should have just owned it from the get-go if you're going to say that. Come on, Ida. Can we go through maybe just starting maybe with <laughs> Those aren't my words. Why should Mine are slightly stay? different. I'm like like a preposition is different. I'm complete for him because I've seen him change and it's more for us and we're almost there, Trina, and I don't want it to be taken away. Oh, Agent. what a fake. Ryan I'm not buying that one. She was trying to be all sobby brutal there. honesty. Told my dad that he's cheated. Told my dad stuff that I almost was so uncomfortable that I needed to get up. But in that moment, I was like, this is why we're here. And this is facing your fears. I see that progress. So Ida, why should your boyfriend stay? I would like him to work on accepting himself and overcoming his past and not letting it affect him. We are progressing so much and now we both want to make it to the end as a team. All right, so... You're dismissed. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is so upsetting to me because the way we're going right now, it's so clear that Josh and Ashley have to stay because they're just like not in any drama and we're going to lose Matsu or Sean. But like the Matsu Sean head to head would just be the best finale ever. <sighs> very unfortunate. Now I must decide who will be in the final two. I believe that I should stay here tonight. Both Jen and I believe, hey, we have what it takes to, to finish this. If we do stay, then it'll be one couple versus us, and I could pick and pick and pick on the flaws in their relationship. Until God, they he's break. become evil, We're dude. Down to the last three couples, and I'm a little nervous. Like I don't want to go home. It will hurt if I get expelled tonight, being this close in a final two. Three tools in front of me. <laughs> two badges. Dude, it's delivery. It's killer. Three tools in front of me. Two tool badges. Well, Three absolute tonight. pieces of shit in front Academy. of me. There was a great deal of tension between your two families, but you were open and honest and began making amends, which was lovely. However, you mustn't get complacent. You need to continue to work at building trust and love between your families. Okay, Same once again, she must have said really stupid things there because that entire thing was voiced over. Even when it flipped to her for a second, it didn't even match her lips. So she must have said something that just made no sense. And they're like, uh, yeah, re rewrite that one. Neither family was behind your relationship. It's 80 yard. But you did a good job of it's making dubbed. amends with both families. Although your struggles with childhood memories interfered with your ability to be a good parent to your pig. Marsuflex, you met Jenna's parents for the first time and opened up to them about everything. However, I don't think you made a very good impression on them. You spent so much time talking about yourself, I'm sure they found you egotistical and unworthy of their daughter. Sean. Sean. Please step forward. They just called Sean up first? No way. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Like, I'm freaking pissed. No way. Sean, your anger with your other classmates This is a switcheroo. Me. Okay, fine, I'll pull it real fast, but you kind of have a little hint there. Okay, who's going home, baby? It's gotta be Sean or Matsu Flex. It's probably a switcheroo and it's Sean, right? Yeah, I think everyone's thinking that too. Yeah, okay, why even pull this? Everyone thinks it's Sean. Send Josh home. He's not doing anything. Send Josh home. Give Sean. it to us. Give it your to us. Your anger with your other classmates and little piggy leads me to believe that your progress here is temporary. And the minute something doesn't go your way, you won't be able to handle it. That seems pretty accurate. John, I'm sorry. You're just a tool. Ah, there it is. Oh no. Ida is outside waiting for you. Please hang up your jacket and I'm on the way out. <laughs> Josh is like, oh, oh fuck, oh, we're staying. <laughs> See ya, Sean. When Sean got caught up and he was just a tool and he walked through that door, I was like, damn straight, baby. Me and Matsu Flex are the only couples in this house. Josh, Matsu Flex, you've done enough. You know, we pop. tied the bow on his story, though. That's why Sean was kept around, because the Ida storyline was interesting. And once they kind of made amends, yeah, get rid of him. He was a bad person. He was a bad person from the beginning. We knew it. Congratulations. You've earned yeah, the spot Him and Matsu Flex the are the two. only couple remaining. Please <laughs> step say forward weirdly. and receive your Family Values Tool Badge. <laughs> family Values Tool Badge. Interesting. Congratulations. Thank you, Jordan. Congratulations. Well. You can already tell by his haircut, guys. <laughs> Out of all these guys, you can tell so quickly from the shadow that that's Sean. <laughs> yeah, that's 
Yeah, that's Sean. Yep. <laughs> Looks like a peacock. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> They're going to stay together. It'd be weird if they broke up right now. Oh, from the balcony Why again. did you get expelled? I got expelled because I'm the most alpha male here, and I'm a threat to both of those other guys. Okay, well, that's something you need to work on letting go. Well, Ashley, I'm rooting for you. Jenna, you don't deserve it one bit. Um, <laughs> Dude, I can't watch this I go <laughs> yourself, girls. Hey, why don't you go yourself? That's something you gotta work on right after she says the most alpha shit right after it? Come on. Oh, this is great. They're meant for each other, actually. They're perfect for each other. Well, Ashley, I'm rooting for you. Jenna, you don't deserve it one bit. Um, Dude, I can't even watch this Hey, go f yourselves, girls. Hey, why don't you go, go f fuck yourself? yourself. Hey, hey, go buy a bowling ball, you little How pipsqueak. How fun leaving the academy unreformed. Yeah, with a hooker. Dude, actually, bro, actually, hey, check this out, dude. <laughs> That's the first shot Josh has taken at anybody this entire show, and you could tell how scared he was to say it. But luckily, he's so far away and is two stories up in a house he just got kicked out of. So Josh is finally like, and your girlfriend's a whore, and I just a hooker. <laughs> he's been waiting. He's been holding that in. Yeah, with the hooker. <laughs> dude, actually, bro, actually, <laughs> hey, check this out, dude. Let me hear you say that again, oh. you okay. little bitch. There you go. No, you're hold proving, on. You're proving Dude, 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 hold right on. You want to call my girl hooker? I'm about to. Oh, he's coming back in. Little ass, bro. He can't do that. He's locked. freaking no. loses it. And so he comes running in the house. Are you kidding me? Like, that shows his true character. Sean Josh is a jump. tool. I'm ready, bro. Where's the him screwing this bowling ball in your fat girlfriend, you little bitch? I want my one-on-one -on -one with this little him <laughs> bitch. Dude, Josh you want to call hiding. my girl a hooker? Wait until I hunt you down, you little I was a little scared, but at the same time, I was ready to hit him. Don't talk about my girlfriend. <laughs> hey, just nice, good front, Josh. I was a little scared. Uh, I would, I would have hit him though. I was ready to hit him. As you could tell, I was kind of shaking my pants. I was standing behind the entire production crew and Matsu Flex, but I was ready to punch that guy in the face. I wish he was upstairs and he had like a bunch of bowling balls and he was comically like rolling them down the stairs, you know. And Sean can't get past him. He's like, oh, he, he bowls too perfectly. God damn it! And he's he's trying to like get past him, but he just keeps getting crushed by Josh's bowling balls. That'd be fun. Hey, just because you. Dream about me when you your girl doesn't mean that I'm a hooker, bitch. That's right, you little twerp. Go back to bowling. <laughs> I will. I actually love bowling. I, I swear to God, I, I really will. Again, I swear to God, you have to bring National Guard here to hold me back. You guys. I know where to find him. The wrong person. Dude, these people are insane. <laughs> Ida is insane too. I know where to find him. I talked to them on the show. I got I got their addresses. We're hunting that fucker down. And I love how this all happened because Josh felt a little confident to make one remark. He's never said anything mean this entire show. And he had his moment. Come on! Come on again! Oh, by the way, I'm not so nice. Come on, Ben No kidding. Come on! Where you at? Come on! I am Mr. Awesome. I can't wait for the reunion episode. How's that sound? You're getting in that car. Why'd you kick it? Dude, next time I ever see him, he better run the other direction and run fast. <laughs> I'm not a hooker. I just have style and I'm hot. God, that was like the worst comebacks. <laughs> what an episode. You see, this is why the finale should have been Matsu, Flex, and Sean. We would have got this. It would have been fireworks. Now, the next episode, we got to see Josh be like, your hair is stupid. I like bowling. So lame. That was a great episode. Amazing work. I can't wait to see Sean in the reunion episode now. I am Mr. Awesome.